Black Wall Street was a nickname for a wealthy, predominantly black community in Greenwood, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Black people in that community were worth millions of dollars. They had their own booming economy with businesses, movie theaters, grocery stores, and even car dealerships. Everything in this community was black owned, even their banks. And this sparked a lot of jealousy and hatred among whites in the community, which led to the murder of hundreds. Today, we talk about the massacre on Black Wall Street. The mass that sparked the massacre came on May 31st, 1921. A young man named Dick Rowland, who was a shoeshine boy, went into the same elevator as a white woman named Sarah Page. Both were in the elevator alone. Minutes went by and she screamed and falsely accused him of sexual assault. The police came and quickly arrested him. Word quickly spread among the white community that she had been raped, and a large white mob gathered around the police department demanding Dick Rowland. The police department was going to hand him over to be lynched by the white mob, but black people from Black Wall Street came with their guns to protect Dick Rowland from the white mob and to bring him to Black Wall Street to make sure he would be safe. While doing so, one black man got into a fight with another white man from the mob, and the white man was shot. After that, things quickly turned worse. Black people retreated to Black Wall Street and set up a barrier to keep the white mob from getting in, to make sure they would be safe. But then the white mob grew in numbers and outgunned the black residents and quickly entered Black Wall Street and started shooting and killing every black person they saw. Even the children were shot dead in the street. They started setting fire to homes and destroying black owned businesses. The white mob even brought their children along to a, and allowed them to take part in the massacre. They broke into homes, stole pianos, furniture, and loaded them onto their trucks. Some survivors have said that, that they have even seen planes flying overhead dropping bombs on Black Wall Street. After the massacre was over, 35 city blocks were burned to the ground and over 300 people were murdered and over $2 million were in damages. Black Wall Street did recover, but it never, but never to its former glory. And the people who took part in the massacre never faced any type of justice. The, ma the massacre on Black Wall Street was one of the most evil and horrendous acts ever committed on American soil. Hope you liked this video. For more content, please like and subscribe.